Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back. And in today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I've just received a new eyebrow henna kit. So this is a kit from Matreska. Matreska. Um, so this is a new eyebrow henna kit that I've received. So I'm gonna, I have trained in eyebrow henna and I used to use a different brand um, and the supplier that I use, uh, they've just tra uh, changed up their supplier and they've got this, this comes from Estonia. So I'm gonna show you the kit. On my eyebrows now, it's just makeup. My natural brows are very sparse and bare. So I'll take off my eyebrow makeup and we're gonna henna these brows. But before we do that, let me just turn you around. I'm gonna show you what comes in the kit and then we're gonna get and do these brows. So here's the kit here all together. So first off, we'll have the instructions. We've got the eyebrow brush and we have like a little mixing palette. Then we have these bottles. So the first one here, we have a shampoo for the eyebrows. There's an oil for eyebrows, a scrub for the eyebrows. That's the mineral solution for mixing the henna. And what's this? This is the cleanser for the eyebrows. Then we have an eyebrow paste. And then these are all the different colors. We have almond, chocolate, dark brown, black brown, light brown, and chocolate milk. And then also what came with the kit, another set of instructions. And then I've got this leaflet. Obviously it's in a different language, but what's good about in this leaflet is you almost get like a mix-in palette. So here you can see the before and after and what colour will give you that. So depending on how dark you want the, the brows, depends. And then you can also mix up the, the henna to get different shades. This is like a little recipe booklet. This henna, they are capsules. So you either use a full capsule or you can use half of one and half of another. So if you mix two half capsules and then you can have tubs, you know, where you keep your half capsules and things like that. So without further ado, let's take off my makeup and we're gonna get henna in some eyebrows. So these are my natural eyebrows now without any makeup on and I have probably over two years ago did have a microblading and I've got the staining of that here but microblading on my eyebrows just doesn't last. So we're going to go through the steps of this eyebrow henna and I'm just going to use the dark brown, just one full capsule of the dark brown. I'm not going to mix it with any other colour because I like my eyebrows to be dark. Um, so the first step is to use the shampoo and to shampoo your brows. So I've got a cotton pad and I'm just gonna put a pump of the shampoo on. I'm just gonna basically clean the brows, the shampoo. And I have just cleaned them with a makeup wipe, but I'm gonna follow all the steps to ensure that this henna lasts. There's nothing really coming off. And then to just cleanse that off, just wetting the, I've got a water bottle here, just gonna dampen a cotton pad and rinse that off with a damp cotton pad. So the next step is to apply the scrub for the eyebrows. So that's so that's the scrub, and we're going to apply the scrub for the eyebrows. So I'm going to place this on my finger. Let's get the pump going. Pump. 
pump doesn't really want to come out. I'm just going to place it on my finger. I have just washed my hands and I'm literally going to pop it on there. And it's like an exfoliator for the eyebrows and just basically exfoliate your eyebrows. we've done that and then the next step it says to wash off with the mineral solution but I've got the cleanser so I'm going to dampen a cotton pad with a cleanser I'm going to clean that with the cleanser Now my eyebrows are all scrubbed and clean. So the next step, well it says defat the entire staining area, staining with the eyebrow now. I don't think we have an eyebrow now. No. Don't know what that means. Apply white paste on the contour of the eyebrows, giving them the desired shape. To apply the paste, use the brush from the Matresco collection. So that's the paste. Here's the brush. I might have to just stare into my mirror that's straight ahead, because it will be easier for me. Oh gosh. So it's almost like a guide of where you want the henna because obviously the henna will stain the skin as well for a period of time. And then I like my eyebrows to come further out. Let's do the other one. I mean, I'm getting it on my hairs here. So I think the aim of this is that you apply this and then the henna will go inside these white lines. It looks like I'm going to have thick brows, doesn't it? What do you think? This one looks like it's going to be thicker. I mean, my eyebrows have never been the most symmetrical brows. So now the next step is to um, apply the henna capsule and pour the contents into a non-metallic container and apply two drops of the mineral solution and mix, mix it into a state. So the thicker um, the solution, I believe the darker the result will the more the result will be. So I've got a dappen dish. We're gonna get a capsule out. Looks like taking a tablet. So that's the henna powder inside the dish. And then I've got my mineral solution and I'll start with two to three drops, start mixing it, and then we'll see how the consistency goes. One two three let's start mixing that basically start mixing that up so it's just it's basically just a paste if you can 
can hear snoring. That's my little dogs. Got my little dogs beside me and they are snoring away. So that's the solution mixed. But before we apply it, let's just check the next step. So once you've applied the henna to the eyebrows, without going over the white lines, you can apply a second, once it's completely dry, you can apply a second layer and if necessary you can apply up to three coats um, and you can leave it on the eyebrows and skin up to 30 minutes so the longer you leave it the darker it will be and then after the last layer has dried you remove it with water so let's apply it to the eyebrows and I might just apply it with this stick And this is where I need it the most on my arch and on the tail because that's where my eyebrows are the most sparse. I can tidy that up in a second. feeling I won't be as neat doing the, this eyebrow because it's more awkward positioned for me. So this is the first time I've used this henna and oh now you know I'm sure I'm gonna like it because the videos I've been seeing online and then I'll be offering this henna to my clients. And then obviously once this henna dries and you're waiting for it to process, you then can carry on and do an eyebrow wax around it, uh, you know, lip wax and whatever, whatever other little add-ons you're doing. For the purpose of today, I won't be doing any eyebrow waxing or anything like that extra. But you could do that while this is processing and you're waiting for that time. So it's sort of all on now, but I'm just going to go right close up here and just check I've got it where I want it. I'm almost pretending that I'm colouring in my eyebrows, like with makeup, but obviously it's a bit thicker. Just making sure I've got it where I want it. And then I have one of these little makeup eyebrow tidy sticks I'm just gonna tidy there just tidy anywhere I've gone outside the line and I mean whether I'll still have to wear makeup after this we'll soon see I think I'm going to leave it on my eyebrows for 20 minutes so what I'll do is before I'm going to let this dry on my eyebrows for 20 minutes and before I wash it off I will come back and just show you how it's processed on the brows so it's now 20 to 1 in the afternoon and we'll be back in 20 minutes and we'll see how this turns out so I'm going to stop the camera for the moment I'll be back in 20 minutes 
and I'll show you how it turns out. Hi, welcome back. So it's just been nearly 25 minutes because I've been distracted doing other things. So these eyebrows are dry, so they feel crusty, but it's time to wash this stuff off. So all I have now is just some cotton pads and I've just dampened them with some water. And it's a case of now, and it feels a bit weird at first and crusty, but it's a case of you just keep wiping to get the crusty dry henna off. Just that one and actually I think I could have gone a bit more. I actually I think I, I even would have gone darker with my brows. Let's get this other one off. Comes off really easily. So that is all the henna taken off and that's how it's coloured my brows and I think I could have gone lower and I actually do have some left in the pot so what I'm going to do let me just get out one of my other sticks I'm going to go again and I'm going to apply more henna I'm going to apply more henna now without the white guide where I can see that I want more I think I would have found it easier doing it without the white paste because the white paste was almost disguising where I wanted the colour. I'll do the other brow and I'll be back in another 20 minutes. Okay, so that's my brows complete after the second go and I got I got in much better without the white paste so what do you think I think they've come out really good I would actually looking in the mirror I would be comfortable with these brows going out without putting eyebrow makeup on because I never go out without eyebrow makeup because I just feel they're too too pale and faint and sparse but if you know if they stay like this I'm more than happy with those like that so the final step of these eye of this eyebrow henna is just to apply some of the oil so I'm literally put a little drop on my fingertip and it's a really thick oil and it smells it smells really nice. I'm just gonna put that over the brow. Wow, that just finishes them off. Lovely. Let me just wipe off the excess oil around the skin.
So I'm really happy how these uh, eyebrows have come out. I'm really impressed with this eyebrow henna. You know, I had to go over them twice, but that was purely, I think, an application error because I wasn't close up to the mirror. I'm trying to film it. The second time around, I used up used my close up mirror. Um, and I really got in and I was almost, I was colouring it in like I was colouring in my eyebrows when I do my makeup. Um, so I got a much better application, but I'm really happy with the colour. I would even be braver to go even darker. So I went with the dark brown and you can even go darker. You can go lighter and you can even mix up the shades. You saw the ingredient sheet, how you can mix up the shades. But yeah, really happy with these. And that oil, I can't stop stroking my eyebrows because that oil just feels so good on the brows. But this is the Matresca Brow Henna. If you've enjoyed watching me eyebrow henna my eyebrows, please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe and come back for future videos. Bye.